you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Show. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger. Colleen mm, May Ballinger. May? Yes. Did like, you forget my middle name? No, I'm just, I was just trying to think of a, like a play on it. Like, call me. You need to introduce maybe. yourself. Eric. I saw comments of people saying that they're upset that what they I always say about? I'm Colleen Ballinger and you like refuse. Like, you like well, will just, not say who you are. I don't think I'm worthy. I'm not worthy. Like oh, I'm, p- come on. That's no. I'm come garbage. on. Just say, I am. This is Colleen Ballinger, and, and I'm garbage. No, you aren't. What? Stop it. Say who you are. They want the people are here to see you. They're here to listen to you. You're everyone's favorite. Say, I am. Trash. No. Uh, Eric Stockland, say your name. They want you, you to say it. You just said it twice. But you need to say it. Eric, no. I can't. I don't you know, you're just being stubborn. I don't think I'm like good at saying my own name. Really? Does anyone else feel that? I guess I've kind of like feel my that whole way. life. I don't, I don't think it's a confidence thing. I, I just feel like it's my sp- specific name. Like it, it doesn't flow. I don't. I can't this say it. It does. Eric Stockland. That's great. And I've had to say it a lot. Yeah. And I don't. I know, but you still. Anyway, I've never I felt. Saw some I've never about felt that. good about uh, saying my own we name. We can in- we can introduce each other every week now. How about that? All right. You so let's try to. Over? Okay. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Relax Podcast. This is Eric, Eric Stockland. Stockland, and that's. Colleen Ballinger. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of the comments of our show that yes. you guys leave, um, last week we ate powdered donuts and chocolate donuts that were Hostess and donuts. 7-Eleven brand, and we had to guess between the two, and it was a no-brainer, the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Not for me. More difficult for me. And I was shocked at how many people liked it and wanted us to do it again. I was also shocked when you told me that. Because I was like, that can't be enjoyable to listen to. Just no. like listening to me eat and you eat. Like, I feel like that can't be. But anyway, you guys wanted us to do it again. So Eric ordered a bunch of fast food. And are we both doing it or is it just I doing it? Close your I'm eyes. I'm closing my eyes. My eyes are closed. Close. I'm really, I don't know what he got. Your eyes. Colleen May Ballinger. I May don't Day. know what he got. Did anybody nick- nickname you Mayday? No one nicknamed me Mayday, no. So what, so what I have here is three fries three che- cheeseburgers and three okay. Cokes. Okay. I saw a McDonald's bag, that's all I saw. So I know some, but I McDonald's would be so easy. Are. No, I really only saw McDonald's. Here's I don't know what the other yeah, ones are. Hold out your hand, here's a fry. No, oh, I can't touch them. That'd be, then I'll know immediately. I really? Oh, By touching yes. the fry? Are you kidding? Okay, take a bite of fry. Because we're working fast that's here. Cold. If anyone's wondering, because it happened quicker than we thought and now they're getting cold and Colleen was like, I can't do this if they're cold. Hmm. Oh, no, that one is cold, so I'm having a hard time. That yeah. was number one. Okay. This is number two. Um. Oh. Hmm. What the heck? She's eating three different kinds of fries. I won't. Ch- I'll try not to chew into the microphone. Sorry, guys. Okay. So that was. Um. Oh, they're cold and like soggy. So this is really this hard. Is if number they were three. Fresh, no, I haven't even swallowed Come the on. last one. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's not part of the game. I need to like wash it down. Okay. Third one. Huh. Cry number three. God, they're all cold. What a bummer. We're try. We, I, I did the best I could. I had to order three different kinds of fast food. I think that last and one. And then get you downstairs and then feed them all to you on a podcast. Like it took, logistically, it, it was, it took a while. And here's bonus fry. Bonus? Yeah. Wait, are there four places? No. Three places. Oh, that's a curly fry. How did you know? Because I can How taste the flavor. How possibly know? And it, well, the shape, but also the flavor of it. Uh-huh. Okay, so number three, I'm confident, is McDonald's. That is correct. Number two is Wendy's. That is uh, correct. And number one was Jack in the Box question That is mark. correct. And the curly fry was Jack in the Box Yes, curly it fry. was. You are the in smartest person alive. My taste buds are the smartest person alive. If only this. Do you want me to do it to you this now? This skill that you have. I didn't even know what the other two were. I only knew there was McDonald's. If, if this skill that you have. If that was like worth actual something, it's worth nothing. Like world peace, or like an actual like like a civil engineering job. Mm-hmm. Imagine what you could do for you know, the world for other people. But instead, you just know what fries are from different I was, garbage fast food places. I was I was close though because like I almost guessed, Lovey, that the um, Jack in the Box one was McDonald's. The first one you gave me, it wasn't. It w- was cold and gross, 
but it was like kind of McDonald's-ish. But then once the McDonald's one went in my mouth, it was like obvious it's McDonald's. Close your eyes. Are we doing burgers this now? This is lightning round. What are we doing now? We gotta go fast. They're getting cold. Clark, okay, okay, okay. This is happening very rapidly. Yes. Okay, can you handle this? Well, I don't know how fast I can chew and swallow these burgers. There's paper like, it's, it's rustling, like... just so you know, as a listener and as a Colleen Ballinger with her eyes closed, because now cheeseburgers is okay. happening. And we're going quickly because- Oh, you know what? This one I'm not gonna be able to do because I don't know Jack in the Box and Wendy's cheeseburgers. I know, but you knew, you knew they're getting cold. So you yeah. gotta go fast. Open your mouth. Ah! Take a bite. Oh! You got all the comments. Did you order no onions on whatever this garbage is? Because if you didn't, I'm going to have a heart attack. Wait, hold um, on. Hmm. I, this sucks because I honestly will have no idea with the burgers. Because I don't know anything about Jack and Box Wendy's burgers. Um, there's a pickle in there that I like. That's hmm. good. But I'm sorry to anyone who has, like... Open your mouth. Chewing... Wait, let me swallow my food! Um, I'm sorry to anyone who has, like, chewing sound phobias. Uh, Just hold the microphone wait. away from your mouth when you're chewing. Tell me one. What? Are you ready? You're ready. Go. Last hey. McDonald's. That's a McDonald's. I eat that every day. Last one. Ready? No, I just put that in my mouth. Let okay. me enjoy my McDonald's for 0.2 seconds. How? What's that? So you think it's McDonald's? No, I don't think. I know that was McDonald's. Oh, my gosh. We're running out of time. Before what? The other burgers are getting cold. And you said you wouldn't do this if any of them were... were no, I didn't say I wouldn't. I said it would be harder for me to guess. The fries were hard. It was hard we're to guess. We're fighting room temperature here. I know, Ready? but I need well, to swallow my food. Keep going. Keep chewing. Is there a soda? I, uh, here, yeah, here's your soda. But did, did you get, you <laughs> didn't get a fast food soda? <laughs> Why, my eyes are closed. <laughs> no, but it was wild. Yes, I got fast food soda. Okay. Open your mouth. Okay. Go. Ah! Ah! Oh. Okay. That one's not good. What do you think? I honestly, I genuinely do not know because I don't know their burgers, but I'm going to guess. Uh huh. One was Jack in the Box, two was McDonald's, three was Wendy's. That was correct. Jack in the Box wasn't that bad. The Wendy's one was not good to me. I'm not enjoying this. I want to spit it out, kind of actually. Okay. Now here's what you wanted. I'm going to use the same straw. Okay. For all three. You are wearing a shirt that says Coca Cola. Coca Cola. You love Coca-Cola. I Specifically, love you Coca-Cola. How much you love McDonald's Coca-Cola. I love McDonald's so Coca-Cola. all this oh, cheeseburger fry nonsense mm -hmm. was a setup. Mm -hmm. Here's the real test. Mm. You need to tell me, out of Jack in the Box, <gasps> Wendy's, I don't know if and, I can do this, and McDonald's, which one was the McDonald's Coca-Cola? Because you say that one is the best. Yes, but but I can't, if you think and I will drink it, out of, it out of a paper straw, you have lost your mind. I will not. I will not drink soda out of a paper straw. I love turtles. We have metal know. straws. We have in our kitchen. I will who, I will not use a dissolving paper straw. Out it ruins these, the taste. Out of these three deliveries, only one of them included a straw. And yes, it is made of a paper cardboard-esque thing. And Fine, that whatever. That's what you get. That's what you get. It's, I'm not going to be able to do it because of this. Oh! So, and, sorry guys, this is going to be the, so annoying. The Wendy's one, I can see the three sodas. The Wendy's one has my worst nightmare on it, which sticker? is like a sticker when they put a sticker over it. You it's for your safety. But listen to me, you absolutely have to promise me you will not pop that straw through the sticker. Why? Because in my mind, then sticker gets into the straw and I'm gonna suck up and drink sticker. That's not how physics works. The sticker yes, it could happen. Straw. Yes, you just tr promise me that you would like either take the sticker off or like this take the lid off. Like it's, so a, it's just manic. like really this important. This is all so manic. The worst podcast episode ever. Um, um, I'm going to go get a metal straw. No, no, just use, you can no, use No, I want a clean fine. experiment. Fine, fine, no, fine, I want to set a good, no, I'm going to get a metal straw. Get, We're going to pause for a second. You can get three and then you can get individual straws per cup. You want me to get three metal straws? Yes, but you also have to no do stickers. me another favor. Yes. So, oh my gosh, this is sounds so annoying. This whole episode, I'm sorry, but listen, this is very important because who needs to relax today is you. And shocking. No, no, listen. Uh, because you use the metal straws a lot, right? So do I. They're we both all use, gone. Um, no, they're not all gone. But the problem they're is. They're all in our cars. Is that you sometimes enjoy, like, you know, a nice, like, beverage with, like, a lime or a lemon in it or, like, a, a smoothie, per se. Like, you'll, you'll drink lots of variants of beverages through our metal straws, right? Mm -hmm. 
You don't clean the metal straws. Kid. What am I going to do? Uh, no, you put them in the dishwasher. What do you mean? Nothing gets in. So he doesn't use the little thingy that like cleans the inside of the metal straw. What am I? Chim so chimney, chim chim cheroo? Yes. Like I'm going to like get in yes, there with like Dick a little. Dick Van Dyke, get in there. No. And, <laughs> Nobody and you does that. Need I know oh, when you when you buy you know metal straws, I know that they come with the little oh. chimney sweep thing. Because there's chunks in there. You get like moldy chunks in the middle. So now whenever You're I pick up a straw, I welcome. can't use them I can't use the bended ones. I have to use the straight ones because those are the ones I can look through if I put it up to a light and I can see which ones you have not cleaned your things out of. And I know it's you because I don't use no metal one. straws for anything but water. So I'm just saying, if you're gonna get metal straws, you gotta do an inspection. And make sure you chim chim charoo them. If you're gonna use dishes, you have to sometimes mm -hmm. do them. Correct. These are things that are good to know. I'm glad we've <laughs> had this talk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get metal he's straws. gonna get metal straws. <laughs> okay, Eric has a plethora of straws. A series of straws mm -hmm. from a, a container in one of our drawers mm -hmm. because uh, turtles, specifically sea turtles, are the most magical animals on the planet. And so we have a drawer of reusable straws. Um, pick your three, choose your weapon, okay. <laughs> your three weapons. I'm inspecting the Inspect internal. your three weapons that maybe have remnants of weird fossils, smoothie. if you will. This okay. one doesn't look good. I would not use that one. Um, this one that I'm holding? Uh, no, one that I put down. This, these I three are good. I got three. Burn. I've got three that look good. Okay. Now you, like I said, all that stuff mm -hmm. that was happening before, the preface, nothing. Author's I'm nervous, note. actually. It I wasn't not, not the real so stressed. competition. Are you going to do it too? Can I do it to you Easy. You, you did it so quick. Sure. If that's what you want. I love you in glasses. You look so cute. But you will, You. will. this is the thing. This is your thing. Your t-shirt. Everything about your personality. I love Coke. Your whole persona revolves around Coca-Cola oh, from McDonald's. I wouldn't McDonald's. say that, but okay. It's your identity. I do love it. But so I, okay. if you can't pick this out, I will be... I'll be I'll be disappointed in myself. But I also I'm the worst word you can hear from anyone you care about. Hmm. Disappointed. Nah, I don't you know, I don't think I'd care if someone said that. I'd be like, okay. Just the B word? <laughs> don't say that. Well, yeah, definitely don't say that. What? <laughs> I don't know. I mean there's quite a few words. I don't know why that was the first one. But um C word? Yeah. Wait, is that there's stuff on this, but I'm gonna forgive it. Oh no, you saw the straw. Close your eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, I was Why not. Yeah, I'm sorry. Switch them out. Switch I would just want to inspect, make sure you're not putting the sticker. I need to make sure. I'm. I, can we? Can we? Wait, can I see the sticker situation? You just need to see the. I, I have to know stickers. that you're not like. First of all, Wendy, thank you for uh, caring about my safety and putting a sticker Blech. over okay. the, over your um your little beverage hole. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. I'm okay. just grateful that there's no sticker in the straw. You uh, don't think that that there's gonna be that like sticker into your number straw? Number one, Ugh. close your keep them closed. I'm not gonna do this. Keep them guys. so okay. closed. This is a Coca-Cola from a fast food establishment. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Mark it in your calendar. Okay. The calendar of your mind. It's marked. Okay. Are they closed? Are they really closed? I can't tell. Yes, your they're lashes. closed for sure. No, no, they're closed. Because your eyes move a lot when they're closed. Oh my god! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, what mm. was that one? Interesting. Okay. They better be closed. I swear. Why are they moving so much? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Keep them closed. Why are you? How All right, do you number see three. My... That straw was so. <laughs> that straw was so small. Ew, yeah. that was gross. Really? Keep them closed. My, uh, they are closed. I don't drink soda, so I wait. Think it's I need all, to start. I need, I need to do it again. I need to do it again. So go to number one again. Okay, same. Well, okay. Well, um, we weren't gonna do this. <laughs> to tilt your head over a little bit. Can you tilt your head sideways? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't want you to know the cup. Oh man, I don't know. Okay. Number two. Number two. Side tilt. <laughs> Okay, that one. Wait, I have to do that one again because the smell of your breath infiltrated. <laughs> oh, no. so. I did while we, when we when we stopped for a second before we take a bite of a cheeseburger. I'm not going to say which one. I don't know, but there's a head. lot of scents happening. Okay, okay. I'll turn away. <laughs> I'll turn away. That was number two. Okay. And here's you want number three again? Uh -huh. Turn your head. I'll breathe away. Yuck. Okay, number one. I think. Oh no, I'm nervous. It's gonna be wrong. I know number three is not McDonald's. If number three is McDonald's, 
I will be so shocked. It's real flat. I think number one, oh, this is hard. I don't know Wendy's and, and Jack in the Box Cokes very well, but I think number one was McDonald's, I think. Oh my God, I'm scared. Number two, I think was, oh, I think number two is Jack in the Box and three is Wendy's. I'm guessing, I have no idea. I really don't know. One and two are both pretty good, honestly. Call the police. <laughs> You got it wrong. What is it? Number one was Jack in the Box. Oh, okay. Number two it was, was McDonald's. Good. Wendy's, you were right. So yeah, I knew the last one wasn't. Yeah. Number two, number one and number two are pretty comparable. Like, they're pretty good. They both were pretty good. But I'm shocked. I didn't know. I, I will say the straws threw me off. The straws Why? threw me off. Because it's not a classic McDonald's straw. Yeah, it's not like the classic, like, okay. plastic close, straw. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Bonus round. I'm going to put in two new straws that are the same straw. Okay. Wait. This is a chance to redeem yourself. Okay. Close your eyes. Oh, hold on. Why are they so? Oh, oh, there's so much so burping much. happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is Let such an insane episode. Open your mouth. <laughs> to yourself. Don't even. I know it's an audio medium, but mm -hmm. like, don't. I'm, even. I'm not saying anything. Okay, number two. The first one was McDonald's. The second one was Dragon. Yes, you are a now person. I can, I can tell. You are. You are you. I can very much tell that time. Okay. Good. I don't know why it was so hard the first time, but I, I, I didn't think I'd get that one right. Wait, I want, really want to do the fry test to you. To me, the fry test? Yeah, can I do the fry test to you? I feel like I could know the fries. I feel like you could do the fries. I feel, I feel like, like you could I do the burgers, the too. The burgers is easy. because Well, the burgers would be really easy because McDonald's is, like, obvious. And if you know Jack in the Box and Wendy's, you know, one of them it's had, like, lettuce you, and love, stuff. As someone who didn't eat fast but food for six years. But you already saw years. them, so you know which one has lettuce in it. So you already know which one is lettuce. I know, but now they're, like, beyond room temperature. They're okay, well, like, let's just try the fries. I'm going to do the fries on you, and you have to guess the at least the fries, okay? Yeah, it's a free country. I mean, yeah, if you can reach them. Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess, yeah, not. Um, all right. Not so, not the most. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a fry test. You ready? Yeah, but but just to be clear, we're not gonna do this every episode. We no, just no, 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 no. Probably never again, honestly. Something similar last episode, and you were like, "Oh, that we should do that again." And so, and we were hungry, I think. So yeah. So here we go. My eyes are closed. Mouth open. That's how eating works. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. There's number one, lovey. Two thoughts or no thoughts do you just want to like savor and move on to the next i'm gonna say i'm gonna say that's wendy's off the top of my head okay okay all righty you ready for the next one uh -huh. <laughs> i don't like the, oh that tasted exactly the same are we what doing, are we doing tricks no no tricks no tricks at all child i'm gonna say that's jack in the box okay <laughs> hard swallow over yeah, there. I, I feel like I should pull the microphone away, but I don't know why. In, instinctively, I moved the microphone closer when I was okay. desperately trying to swallow. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> McDonald's? Yeah. Was I right? You were right with McDonald's. No, I got them confused. Yeah. Jack in the Box and Wendy's? Yeah, Wendy's How is gross. I? The only way Wendy's fries are good are dipped in a Frosty. That is the only way they are good. Yeah, I don't eat these things ever, so I don't know why. That is a bold lie. I only eat them, I scavenge. You eat fast food with me scavenge. all the time. Before you met me, you did not. I hadn't had fast food for years. You told me six years. Yes. And I remember we were on set of Haters Back Off and um, we were talking about food like the cast. We were all talking about the, we were all talking about food yeah. as a cast and I, and um, like what our favorite foods were and like what fast food we like and whatever. And you were being shy, not talking much. And then I was like, you rub me as a quinoa kind of guy. I remember saying that to you. I remember you saying quinoa kind of and guy. And you were like, uh, no, I don't know. Like, you barely said anything. And then I was like, do you eat fast food? And you're like, I haven't had fast food in six years. Or it was either six or seven years or something like that. It and I was six, like, yeah. what? Only, like, only, I only allowed it to myself on road trips. Right. Like, to where it's like you really, ha you know, when you have to, like, eat at a truck stop on a, like, a road trip, meaning, like, six hour and above mm -hmm. drive. Um, and you didn't meal plan for mm -hmm. that. Right. I, fast food is very, I know it's terrible for you. It's bad for everything. It's bad all around. There's nothing good about it other than that it's cheap and delicious. But it's um, hilarious to hear people eat. Not watch, but hear. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. I was, People asked for it. I don't know if it was just because it was YouTube and so like people were enjoying watching it. So I don't know. We won't do it next week for the people who just listen to the podcast. I had hopefully. a blast. A I did too. I that was like so fun. the energy was like. Wild. Wild. If there's, if there's one way to get me passionate. It's with yeah. fast food and like competition with fast food. Like mm -hmm. 
talk like my my cousin Andrew and I we've done this actually for a YouTube video before we blindfolded ourselves and like tried all these different fries and burgers from different fast food places Andrew and I could talk about fast food for probably hours like yeah. very specifically about like different textures and things we liked and dislike and like I was very much raised on fast food so I it, to me it's very like when people think like oh home cooked meal or like home cooking reminds you of home like I think of fast food like I think of Taco Bell McDonald's like I was raised on that stuff like we would get not often at all like it was a, it was a special occasion when it, and it was only McDonald's mm -hmm. um, but it was like if one of us got stitches Oof. like we cut ourselves and got, had to go to a hospital to get stitches then we would get McDonald's mm -hmm. or um, yeah that's pretty much it it's like my memories of getting fast food was I was injured and on the way back from a hospital do you remember like did you ever get pulled out of school for like stitches or doctor's appointment or whatever and then you go back into class like with your like McDonald's cut like, uh, uh, I went out. no I can't remember getting like, like in high school cut in school no like in high school like leaving to go to like dentist appointment or doctor's appointment or something and then you like come back and you're like oh, sorry guys I had to stop and get food on the way here no never oh my god is that like what? your yeah I used to do that that was when you felt I would the most stop popular? I would go no was that I your like mean girl literally moment? never felt popular in my whole life and you should know that by the fact that I read you some of my diary entries the other night yeah and it blew your mind um you should go get that I can um but anyway I really like I really like fast food because it's very homey to me it was just what we could afford but so what, you would leave to go to the dentist and then you would come back yeah, with like McDonald's a, yeah, and be like, like, I'm... You just felt like I'm so cool, like holding a McDonald's cup. Died, or like, really? Yeah, like you're just like, I don't know, I felt cool. I only did it a couple of times, but like I also would go to In-N-Out on my lunch break at, at my school, like at high school. It's something that blows my mind that you can that you were able to do that in high school because yeah. like ours was perpetually locked down by police officers at front and back and you, we were not allowed to leave yeah, I feel all. like that is should is how it probably should be I don't think you should I don't know I mean I don't know anything but I really liked it in high school like it was very nice for me to be able to just like drive away whenever I wanted to it was nice for me to sneak out a door and then sneak through woods and then have someone who had stayed home sick meet me at the woods with their car yeah it's kind of similar that's a little similar but not really at all right um, you know what I really want to do? It's more like an Oceans movie than it is. I don't know if I'm going to do it. <clears throat> I, pro well, I won't do it on... I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll try to figure out a way to do it for the podcast or okay. for a vlog or something, but I have this idea. So in high school, we had these cookies that they sold that were like certainly not baked all the way. Like they were just like pretty much goopy cookies and like 75 cents. And they were during like the um, break, the first break between periods. And I bought one every day by like asking random people for a quarter until I would get 75 cents. We've talked single, about I know. this on the podcast. Cause I you, think had, you said there were breezeway cookies that was not a thing for me. Yeah. yeah. So they, I think they still have them. I think that's a thing you made up and you were just buying. Random no, be, I know this from is from people in uh, the woods. Absolutely not. In fact, I'm going to call a friend and I'm, I'm calling Teeny. She's not going to, she's going to be so mad. She's probably asleep. This is actually important. I think your children are on spring break. So maybe she will. Maybe answer. she'll, maybe, but maybe not. Um, because we actually were talking about, Tini went with me on tour last week and we talked about this. She brought it up, not me. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm podcasting right now. Can I record you for a second? Sure. Um, so Eric doesn't believe me that there were cookies at our high school during nutrition break. Can you please tell him? Nutrition well, obviously break? Obviously there are cookies, and every single day we would get cookies between first and second period, and they were, like, not cooked, but hot. And they were delicious for nutrition break. See? Yeah, so what I'm saying, you had a nutrition break. Yes. Between first and second period. So we're talking, what are we talking, like, 8.45? No, we had block scheduling, so 9.30. No, we had block. 9.30 to yeah. 9.45, Hello. Yep. So 9.30 in the morning, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, 9.30 in the morning, a fresh, gooey, not baked all the way cookie. So anyway, I was telling Eric that I think that you and I should go to San Marcos and try to buy one if they, and see if they still have them. 1,000%. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. I don't think you can just show, I don't think we should be promoting just showing up to high schools that we don't go to as adults. Uh, Did I, what, do gonna, what, what do you think they're going to, what do you think they're going to think, Eric? I'm giving them money for cookies. I'm buying a cookie and I'm leaving. I'm going during nutrition break. <laughs> and we're going to do maybe it. Maybe I'll like pull out my, maybe I'll pull out my letter jacket, you know, because I got a letter in choir. 
How did I not get a letter inquire? I probably did. I just Here's don't know what, what it is. I think. I think you guys should just never been kissed this whole moment. The Drew Barrymore <laughs> movie. Yes, I'm familiar. Yeah, so just dress like you did in high school. Find the outfits that you wore in high school. I still have them. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, um, Eric, you're basically talking about us. Yeah, I don't think anything <laughs> has changed. He's all that and never been kissed. Also, That's the one where she went back to high school. Right? Yeah. Um, also, I think I still have my uh, my sweatshirt for um, Enchanté. Like, it literally says Enchanté on the yeah. sleeve. Uh, I'll wear so it. Jealous. Okay. Anyway, we're going to do that. I love you. I'll talk to you later. I love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yep. Told you. I'm not lying. And Corey, who did not go to my high school, Corey went to school in Upland, California, and he said he had him at his high school too. So this must be a California thing, a California cookie thing. So my obsession with cookies has clearly lasted my whole life because I used to make cookies when I was a little girl with my mom, like very, very, very little. I have pictures of me like two years old sitting on the counter making cookies with my mom. And in high school, they helped my cookie addiction. I got one every day for 75 cents. <clears throat> and I remember actually being 50 cents, what? and then they upped the prices to 75. Why did this come up? I don't know, but we should go to our first uh, break. Are we going to talk about who we think needs to relax? Oh, maybe week? we should do that, too. Anyway, um, well, I already said you need to relax by not cleaning the straws, but I have more. Anyway, let's say thanks to our first sponsor. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's right. This beautiful episode the is show sponsored seems so formal. by BetterHelp. And uh, guys, you know what? I'm always learning new things about myself. Like today I learned I don't love McDonald's Coke as much as I thought that I did. Because I, if I did, I would know the difference between McDonald's Coke and other Cokes. That's what but, I would say about you. You're a student of life. Yes. And you want to learn about yourself and the world? I'm always learning. We all, as a community of human beings, are hopefully always learning. But um, that's obviously a silly thing. I've... My favorite things that I've learned about myself in life, I've learned through therapy. We love therapy. You talk a lot about therapy. I do because I think it's wonderful. I really love therapy. You start, most sentences you start, hey, I saw this thing on TikTok, or you know what I was talking about in therapy? Right. That's pretty much how you start any sentence you ever say to me. Yeah, or I'm ordering fast food. What do you want? Okay, there's the three things. Yeah. So anyway, um, guys, we, I want to talk about uh, better help here today. Uh, I love therapy, as you guys know. This is no surprise to any of you. It has helped me so much in my life. It's helped me to be a better communicator in not only like relationships, like with my hubby hubs, but also with my friends and with my parents, my siblings, my cats. every my cats, my Chickens. children. Um, a therapy is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So that is why I love it. And you might love it too. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Hopefully for the good. Hopefully people are always growing and changing for the better. Um, I'm always trying to grow and change for the better. Uh, while I still make mistakes, I do try to always be better. And therapy is a great true. way to help. I think Yeah. Yeah. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. Therapy has helped me so much and if you guys want to try it out and you're thinking about getting started, you could try out BetterHelp. It is definitely an option it's for way. you. Yeah. It's one way. There's lots of ways, but BetterHelp is definitely um, an option if you want to check it out. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash relax with me today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash relax with me. Lovey, oh. I have a relax. Do you want me to go? Mine will be quick because you probably won't want to elaborate on it, but do you want to go first? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with my relax after you. <laughs> but the way that it smells in here right now. Yeah, it's a lot With of fast food and three chickens. Three different bags of uh, fast food and um, premature chickens. Yeah. By the way, sorry we still haven't fixed our microphones. Um, we are both not audio engineers or audio not tech people. And huh? I have tried, and I don't know how to fix our microphone situation. I need to, like, hire someone to come look at them. So we're still on our little tiny microphones on our couch. But I actually really like this setup because I like being next to you yeah. and, like, snugging on you. So, like, I call them really cuddle happy. sods. 
Cuddle soaps, that's cute. Yeah. Okay, um, my relax, I have so many things I could say, but okay. I'm just gonna go with the most recent thing that felt I needed to relax. What, which, which, okay. Lay it on me. The new season of Love is Blind came out. Oh. This is very niche, so you'll only know what I'm talking about or care if you watch Love is Blind, which I love the show Love A lot Blind. of these shows are the same, so maybe it's uh, relatable well, outside of that world. Well, on the show, I don't like to speak ill of anyone, especially on a reality show, because they can edit you to look any kind of way. I know this from experience. I know this as an editor. Like I know a you friend can who make, edited on a reality show. Yes, they can. They can literally yes. make like a lunch with your mom where you just talk about like the weather look like a fight with your boyfriend and like it's like it's and crazy. you're a Nazi. Yes, it, it's right. insane what they can make you look like like it's so context i have been watching love is blind the new season came out and who i think needs to relax i'm hoping it's just editing but i don't see how it could be there's two girls on the show who are so mean they're mm. so mean I've, I've i can't i don't remember the last time i watched a show a reality show and was like oh my god these people are so mean like yeah, I was passively listening, and I know the moment you're talking about in that show, and they did seem kind of mean. Yeah, and I'm hoping it's just like editing or something. I don't know, but like. But knowing that industry, I'm sure they. I'm sure they aren't. But but no, I know a lot of reality stars, and they're. Lo I can know so many lovely people who well, are no, reality stars. But I'm just stars. saying, like that edit, it just looked like. It's all suspicious to me. It was crazy. So it's love not is blind. Is it's not reality, is it? We haven't learned this in mean, twenty years of reality, of quote unquote reality. Sure. Re reality. Television. Reality is not yeah. reality, yes. obviously. Yeah. But like, not all reality is scripted. First of all, and yes, while they can edit it to make any look any sort of way, they're still human beings. Like, they're still people being either themselves or a character they're playing or whatever. But anyway, uh, I'm not saying it's scripted, but I'm saying like, you put people and you say, hey, we're gonna put you in uh, pods, and you're gonna not see this person and you're going to talk and they're like I'm in and then you're going to get married within weeks like crazy I'm not saying it's scripted but I'm saying it's um it's illogical to the point of like farce like mm -hmm. like I don't think anyone watches that and believes like they're truly falling in love they're truly making a connection for genuine reasons they're actually then going to be in love then they're going to be married I think some people think that has that happened yeah there's been a couple that still what they're still season together. Season of Love Is Blind is one. This? Season one, there's a couple that is still together, married and been together years. So out of how many couples, how many seasons is that? Four seasons. Uh, well, I don't know how many of couples are still together. I just know that there is a couple that's like strong and has been strong the entire time. There's another couple that's married still. Um, I know, but they're not like the like fan favorite one is the one I'm thinking of, but I don't even know their names. I but feel like I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway, um, the. So the shows, yeah, you, you talk to someone behind a wall, you don't get to see them, and you have to decide if you're in love with them, and then you can't meet the person face-to-face -face unless you say, like, I'll marry you, like, basically. And anyway, there's people get their hearts broken, and they get upset and whatever. And there were girls who were, like, crying and getting their heart broken and getting broken up with. And there's these two girls who were, like, laughing at them, spying on them, rolling their – like, they're so mean. And, like, I just – I couldn't believe it. And last night I was like, this is – it was like, it wasn't even like, oh my gosh, this is catty, funny, mean for like reality no, TV. It was being... like, it was like uncomfortable to watch. It made me like, it made me sad. But I think a lot of those shows, they like, there's the edit obviously, but there's also like, they, I feel like there are producers of these kind of shows that want those kinds of moments. And so they use yeah, things I guess. like available alcohol, et cetera. True, but and then edit, and then yeah, and then and and people that are kind of a messy mess, and then it. True, but I I do I do feel like, um, there is I know what you're saying, and I've seen a lot of reality TV where someone's like mean or catty, and it's like kind of funny. You're kind of like ah, oh, it's kind of, and you're like laugh funny, at it. Yeah. It wasn't funny. It no. was like it was like painful. It was like really sad to watch. Anyway, this is so niche that it's not a very good relax. It's not relatable at all. But well, it's I just don't like watch because I just watched it. I don't watch Love Is Blind unless like it's like how I can be next to you and it's what we're watching you know um, but I will say that n none of it is like aw like I feel like it's all kind of yeah but it's usually like funny you know and it what that that just wasn't funny yeah, but, to me. but not like funny haha -ha. like it's it's um it's funny just, like this it is just wild. seems like a disingenuine right. character study of people 
I don't I don't know these people, but like they they've submitted to a television program to try and find some and maybe there is some a percentage of people that are genuine in mm-hmm. that. But I think that is minute. I don't know. But anyway, that's that's who I think it has to be like because these it's no, maybe, maybe not. Who needs to relax for you, lovey? There's so Um, I should have said something else. Dang it. I I, I don't like go two for two. No, I want to know yours, but mine's mine's longer. So maybe I have to save it. But like, go go ahead. I I just got a quick one. Okay, yeah, let's do yours. Do you buy things from ads that you see on social media sites where you're not shopping? But there are things, and then you feel like impulsively have to buy them. Yes. And are these companies have names that are the most insane things you've ever heard in your life? Not Maybe. sponsors of this podcast, but like you're like, oh, I need that sweater from Shades of Night. It's never clothes. I I've. It's not clothes. No. Bub- bubble machines. Yeah, except for the kids. Like it'll be uh-huh. like um toys that I think they'll like or like. It's never clothes. clothes? I feel like you get clothes, clothes for the kids. But clothes for you too, sometimes. Mm, never from an ad on a social media, no. Not oh. that I can think of. I think sometimes they show me stuff like sometimes I'll see like sparkly dresses in ads because I shop for sparkly dresses a lot and sparkly clothes for my tours. But like, I no, I don't. I don't. When was the last time I bought real person clothes? Like, I don't buy real people clothes. I buy like sparkly clothes for tour, and uh, that's kind of and then you baby do, clothes. You do and you don't. I yeah. I don't know. I I'm a guy. Correct. Um, I'm a straight guy, mm-hmm. and I buy and I buy clothes, mm-hmm. and I'm and I feel like that's surprising to people sometimes that you buy clothes. Yeah, that there's and maybe that there's thought into that. What's like, what's that about? That's called internalized misogyny. Yeah, maybe I. Does that make me bad? Not you from other people. Like if other people are surprised that like a man. Like a cis straight man would like want to like and I'm not present saying himself there's like a, nicely. Like right. that would be yeah. If, the, if you were to be made fun of for that, or if people were shocked by that, or thought that was not weird or whatever. Fun of, but it's just like oh, you like you're a style person. Like mm-hmm. like I look at this. Like I don't know. Like I feel like I like in the community of people that we know, it's like uh, it's wives and husbands. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and like, am I like the because people have said to me like oh look like i bought my husband this Mm -hmm. don't you appreciate that because you're a style person Mm -hmm. but i don't feel like i'm a style person i just like you're good at fashion i'm not i don't don't think i am first of all i think you are but like uh these are things you know we can't walk around naked can we uh that's illegal i think um but so, but so, like I have, to, I buy myself clothes, and I've just always thought about like sometimes you like buy yourself clothes, and you buy yourself clothes that you feel comfortable in and and, and confident in. Mm-hmm. Do other do other guys not do that? They just no, don't. Lots of guys do that. I I don't know. I just I think um, you're good do you at know it. What it's I'm yeah, about? I do, but I don't think it. Uh, no, I take it back. I don't think that is. Because I'm not like what is, some of your friends that are that are <clears throat> actual like style people. I'm not like that. Here's the deal. What I said earlier about the internalized misogyny thing, that's if someone were to like make fun of you or think you're weird for caring about yourself, then that would be internalized misogyny. But people complimenting or being impressed by your style, that's not. That's just certainly not now I'm wearing literal pajamas. No, but you're watching this. Um But I, I think no, you are um you have an eye for it. Like you have an eye for like what looks good, what looks cool. And you're But I'm good not at trying that. to look cool and it and it because you're saying like, oh, well, some people like they don't care. And I feel like there's a careless style that that's I feel like would be it, um, better. You know what I mean? But like it's it's so there is care, but it's just like but that's because that's the clothes that I put on my body. You know, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know what you just said. Well, there's <laughs> <laughs> to make any sense. something about caring about clothes, but you don't care. But you do. Ca- Wait, I don't get what you said. Well, I have to buy it. No one's my mom isn't shopping for me anymore. I'm not. Yeah, seven, you have to buy your You clothes. know what I mean? And then and then this is how I present myself to the world. Mm-hmm. And I feel like in certain instances, I've I've felt been made to feel like, oh, nobody else. No other. At least straight guys like concerned about buying themselves clothes but everybody else does right like they have to at some point people buy where themselves else do their clothes, clothes yeah. well from? i feel like um i buy myself clothes but i it's but i don't care like i don't really care typically like i'm 
usually in like leggings and like a baggy shirt or baggy sweatshirt Around or the like house. yeah certainly but like when it comes to like uh your shows or your um, meet and greets i feel like you're very concerned about like how you present i'm concerned because i don't know because i don't know because i don't know what looks good what looks cool like i don't understand whereas i feel like you do have an understanding of like oh that's cool that looks good no idea i always go but to I you have, if i have but a question I have about no it no idea you do have an idea I, and i don't think None. that's I know. I think you have an eye for it. I think just so in the same way that some people None. like have an eye for like, oh, in your living room, you should have a blue couch with this specific rug. Like they have an eye for like interior design. People have an eye for like, um, you know, lots of different things. Like no, what I, kind of makeup someone feel, should put on their face. Like you're, you up. have a good eye, you have a good eye for completely that Completely lost. I'm, that's that's it's not true. Makes me feel good that you would say that to me, but I'm completely lost. That can't be true because, because then you I'm would. At a, oh, I'm your at phone, a, Eric's getting a phone call at ten in the evening. Mommy called. I should put it on silent when we record. Make sure it is still okay. Uh, it is. Uh, I didn't mean for that to be my relax, but I, I think it's more of like a general. So wait, your relax is that you're good at fashion? No, I was talking about how like when you it started because like uh, a lot of the. I have uh, a limited amount of social media to which I thought it was seeing my friends and my friends' families and their, I don't know, lives and accomplishments and, and as slices of daily life. And now it's turned into ads for clothes. Yeah, on Instagram. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and I sometimes buy those things and I'm like, wait, what? Like, Because I just feel like uh, I don't have any impulse control. Like, no, at all. no. Um, and so that happens. And then I'm like, it's not, and it's not like, a, it's not like the gap. It's like, shades of skulls like you know what i mean it's like a company you've never heard of and it's like are all these people making clothes like how are they how are all these people making clothes i don't know um and are they real companies or are they it just doesn't make any sense to me so i thought maybe you would think something similar but then it made me think more broadly that like are other guys like me how do they buy clothes because i because i see other guys like i see like and they're wearing clothes that look cool Mm mm-hmm are are you saying that like their that, that their wives dress them or that like no, that I, I, they're th- like no there's certainly a lot of straight men who like are fashionable too that, well, that how exists. do they do it that like that people aren't like oh you're the fashion fashionable they, I don't know maybe guy. they do I don't know you're just a fashion guy I don't know I think I just have like uh, you know a a credit card and an email address or Apple Pay you know and then I see an a, an ad and then that's how that yeah, I don't. Literally, how these. Where are those happen. from? These are Lululemon men's pants. You got an ad for Lululemon. They are pants that I bought online. Nice. And this is a shirt from us that from an Instagram company. You've that had I that saw. for years. Yeah. Huh. And it was from an Instagram ad. Nice. Yeah. No, I don't get an Instagram ads for clothes, but now I'm sure I will because they're listening to us, and now I'll get them. But we're so not going to get into that. When we're on Instagram, right? They know our pupils. Oh my god! Are black, but the round of Ugh. them could be brown. So does that mean oh that god. TikTok, TikTok bans knows too much? I cannot. That I am a man who will buy clothes. Yes. If you are selling them. The every- now Wi-Fi. Now what is what does Wi-Fi really mean? It is so crazy, all that TikTok stuff. I don't know. what I, I feel like it might get banned, but whatever. We're not getting into that right now. But like, uh, look how dirty my pants are. You know what this is. My pants are covered in gunk from I have egg. the I know kids, I... the chickens, but mostly like Maisie right, well, kept stop. like chewing things and spitting it out on my pants. Just point at different stains and say what it is. For me? Yeah. Well, these are baby fingerprints. Egg. Okay, now you go. Um, this, I know what this is. This is Maisie was chewing a cracker and spit it out onto my knee or onto my leg, my shin, whatever. Uh-huh. Um, down Chicken. here. Egg. Chicken, but like so... I think this is from Flint's shoe. My my pants are covered. That's a fun parent game. Just like what is this stain? What is this stain? And I feel like there was like a, a movie from the eighties where they like it was what like a couple game? talking about different scars and how they got these different scars and it was like hot. But like imagine it's just like parents talking about different stains they have. I don't have any. And it's cool like hot. Stories. That's I don't know about that. But. <laughs> um, Thanks. But you know what is? I will end on this. Okay, you what know what is? is hot? How how well Eric knows me that he, I'm gonna end on this. He got me a gift, guys. And it was like the most romantic, lovely, wonderful gift. Don't even know what you're talking about. I might have ever received from another person. 
he's this man has got me clothes, shoes, a bicycle. Oh, I know what it is. It's got me. Oh my God, some flowers just showered me with gifts. But this man got me. Do you love the it? The most epic hot glue gun. Do you love it? Oh, I love it. Do you really? Genuinely? It's like, it's like a it's like a power tool, like a power drill. It is. It literally is a it power literally tool. It has the same type of like battery, like the, a huge battery. It is massive. It's crazy. It's the same company that makes the drill that I've been using for years. It's, yeah. That my father got me. Yeah. It's wonderful. Do you actually oh, genuinely like it? Oh, I love it. it? Why? Is it oh, just, it's so good. Is it just dumping It's hot really glue powerful. Everywhere? It warms up quickly. And even if the and battery you dies, plugged in. you don't have to be plugged in anything. It's like, is it burning? Is it going to burn things if like... Well, yeah, it's going to burn you if you touch it. Well, I'm just it. saying, you know how like if you if a hot glue gun is like plugged in mm-hmm. and you walk away, it's going to... You were like terrified. And, but this one like... You well, have, the battery will run out, so it'll be Right, but, but also you have to like... I imagine you have to like pull a trigger to activate the Well, glue the can battery. still like goop out, you know. It's kind of, yeah, no, 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 it doesn't act, no, no. The battery stays on, but when the battery dies, because it doesn't last forever, it's like last couple hours, whatever. When the battery dies, I was like, oh no, the battery died and I had to plug in the battery, but the hot glue gun still worked for like 10 minutes. So without the battery on it, I could still use it while the battery was charging. Get out of town. It was incredible. You actually like it. Oh, I love it. I think it's the best gift I've I ever made, gotten you. I made it like models of our chicken coop, like four different models out of To sticks, scale. To scale because I had the glue gun. Anyway, um, thanks for listening and watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. Sometimes I just think we're just talking. and then you I know, and turn, then I turn to the camera. Yeah. It's like, I know. And I'm like, what am I holding? Yeah. This finger oh. is cramped. Did oh. you just get, because you're, no, I'm, I'm my pinkies up like um, how Wesley eats. Wesley eats pinkies up always. It's an awkward thing to hold. A microphone? I would feel like it would, yeah. It was a little one. Yeah. It's awkward. It's like an awkward thing to. Yeah, I guess. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.